In the previous episode, when I was doing my research on Florante at Laura, we discussed that asking questions is very important because it's the only way to get the most out of a topic. Answering these questions entails a systematic search for data. These data can be categorized into two, primary data and secondary data. What are those? Primary data, that's what you get on your own using surveys, direct observation, or public experiments. Secondary data, these are reports you gather from publications on the views of experts in the field. The best sources of these are government and scientific journals, as well as magazines that publish verifiable research. So, if I interview a person, is that primary data? Yes. And if you make your own survey instruments and then pass it around to a random sampling of people to answer, that's also primary data. Okay. Suppose I ask my mom how my dad courted her. You can make a survey that details on how young men court young women now and then compare it to how they did it in the ancient times. That's also primary data. How about secondary data? Those are the information that you will get from books, journals, and existing research. You can't interview ancient Filipinos anymore, right? So, most of the information you will get on courtship practices of ancient Filipinos will be coming from your secondary data. Wow, that's so cool. Brian, are you still with us? This could be a little bit tricky, but hang in there, okay? Gab, can we play a game? Oh, uh, sure. What game? Hmm, I'll think of a topic for a research paper and then you tell me where I could get reliable information. Then you get your turn. Okay, you go first. Okay. Hmm, let's say that I'm writing a paper on how young men court young women in the ancient times. Where do you think I can get information? Hmm, well that's easy. You just go to the chat rooms of internet cafes, right? That would have been much different if our ancestors had computers and internet. But seriously, where do you think I could get my data? First, I think you should try the Filipiniana section because that houses all information on Filipino culture. I think you should also try the musical instruments because I know for a fact that Filipino men during the ancient times used the kubing in the courtship rituals for women. So sweet. I wish somebody would court me using the kubing. Dream on, girl. Oh. You'll see. Anyway, it's your turn. Okay, suppose I want to write a paper on the deconstruction of the story of Si Malakas at Si Maganda. Where do you suggest I find my data? Hmm, that's interesting. You see, the story of Simulakas at Simaganda revolves around the typical roles of men and women in our society. Men are malakas because they work for the families, while women are maganda because they just stay at home and attend to the family's needs. But, you see, that doesn't apply anymore. There are a lot of women who are working while men who are homebodies, so I suggest to look for couples like those and then interview them. Very good, Sam. Thank you. And you think I can look for um, articles and documentaries on that topic? Exactly.